In one of our previous lectures, we have already seen how to check if any given number is prime or not. In this lecture, we are going to see how to find out all prime numbers in a given range. Okay, so whenever I talk about range, I'll be given the lower limit of the range and the upper limit of the range. Let's say the lower limit of the range here is 7 and the upper limit is 20. That means I need to find all the prime numbers between 7 and 20. Okay, so let us list down all the numbers from 7 to 20 here first. So this is the lower limit L, okay, 7 and then 8 and then 9. So I write, keep on writing all these numbers up to 20, which is my upper limit. So this is my upper limit U and this is my lower limit L, okay. Now what is the logic? How do I find out all the prime numbers between 7 and 20, okay. So first thing first, I need to run a loop that will run over all these numbers starting from L to U. So I can write something like this for I equals to L, okay, lower limit. So I should be less than equals to U, upper limit, I plus plus. So this is a loop that will run over all these numbers one by one, okay. Now I need to check one by one whether that number is prime or not, okay. So how do I check whether 7 is prime or not? So the idea is very simple. We have already seen this before. To check whether 7 is prime or not, okay, first of all, what I'll do is I'll make sure that the number of factors of 7 encountered as of now is 0. I don't know how many factors are there of 7. So initially, I'll make the number of factors of 7 as 0. Then I'll divide 7 by these numbers starting from 1 to 7, okay. So let's say this is j, j is 1. Okay, and the last value of j is 7. So I'll divide this 7 first by 1. I'll check if it is divisible. So 7 is actually divisible by 1. So I say 1 is a factor of 7. Okay, so number of factors of 7 is now incremented by 1. I found one factor. Similarly, I'll try to divide 7 by 2. It is not divisible, so 2 is not a factor. Similarly, Try divide 7 by 3, not divisible, so 3 is not a factor. Now divide 7 by 4, not divisible, so 4 is not a factor. Now divide 7 by 5, not divisible, so 5 is also not a factor of 7. Now divide 7 by 6, not divisible, so 6 is not a factor of 7. Now divide 7 by 7, it is divisible, right? So I say that 7 is a factor of 7. So how many factors I have found? I have found one more factor. So I'll write plus 1. So total number of factors here is 2. Okay. So whenever number of factors is 2, I say that number is prime. Okay. And whenever I find number of factors more than 2, that is a non-prime number. Okay. So what I do here is to actually check for if 7 is prime or not, I have to run a loop starting from 1 to 7. Okay, so again here I have to run one loop to check if number i is prime or not. Okay, so here I'll have to write a loop. Okay, to check if the number i is prime or not. Okay, so this is initially this is i, next time this is i, next time this is i. Similarly, this is the last value of i which is 20. Okay, so here I'll be needing a nesting of loop, a loop inside a loop. Okay, so this is a loop inside this loop. So this is called as nesting of loop. So this problem can be easily solved by writing a nested loop. Now let us try to write a code for this. Okay. So first of all, I know that I need to run a loop on these numbers starting from the lower limit L, which is 7 to the upper limit U, which is 20 in this case. Okay. So let's say that each of these numbers are I. So initially, I is 7, okay. So I initialize I to 7, okay. And the last value of I is 20. So I is less than equals to 20. And then each time I'm incrementing the value of I by 1. So next time 8 is I, for the next time 9 is I and so on. This is the last value of I which is 20, okay. Now let's say that instead of writing 7 and 20, I've already scanned the number from the user. That is, L is the lower limit and U is the upper limit. So instead of 7, I can write down L instead of 7. Okay, this is my L, okay. So instead of writing 20, I can write 
u which is the upper limit so i'm assuming that the lower limit and the upper limit is provided by the user so this is my outer loop okay now what i do in the inner loop is i need to for each i for each number i i need to check whether i is prime or not okay so here i can give a comment check if i is prime okay so how do i check if i is prime okay it's very simple i need to run a loop for okay so in this case let's say i is 7 okay i'm running a loop starting from 1 to 7 that means i'm running a loop from 1 to i okay because i is nothing but 7 in this first case so for let the inner loop be controlled by the variable j or j equals to 1 j is nothing but the number 1 this one this is j initially j is 1 and then j is 2 and then j is 3 and then j is 4 and the last value of j is 7 okay and j should be less than or equals to i okay for the first time whenever i'm trying to check if 7 is a prime i need to go and divide up to 7 if i'm checking if 12 is prime i'll have to start dividing from 1 then 2 and then finally i'll have to divide by 12 so i'll have to go up to less than equals to i okay so say so i write less than equals to i each time i increment the value of j by 1 because 1 plus 1 is 2 2 plus 1 is 3 and so on okay so this is my inner loop okay now inside the inner loop what do i do is i'll try to divide i which is i this is i okay this is i i is divided by j and check the remainder if it is divisible okay so i do i mod j in this case i do 7 mod 1 and then i do 7 mod 2 and then i do 7 mod 3 i keep on doing this up to 7 mod 7 okay so i is nothing but my 7 the number okay here i is 7 so i mod j j is changing from 1 to 7 j is changing from 1 to 7 and if this is giving me the remainder as 0 that means the number is divisible right so in that case i'll have to write now number of factors is now incremented by 1 okay so this is a number of factor previous number of factor plus 1 okay so initially let's assume that you know once this loop begins here let's write number of factors initially we don't know how many factors are there for i so initially the factors are 0 okay so this will increment the factor by 1 whenever the factor is found okay so let's close this loop now now here i'll have to write once this inner loop is done this is my inner loop okay once this inner loop is done i'll have to write a if statement here if my number of factors is equals to equals to 2 if i exactly find two factors okay like in case of 7 1 is a factor 7 is a factor number of factors are 2 so whenever i find exactly two factors then i can say that that number is prime so i say percentage d is prime okay now what is percentage d here percentage d is nothing but i i'm talking about the number i okay so i is prime so whenever it's prime i'll display that the number is prime otherwise it's not displayed okay so in this case it will display that 7 is prime okay here is not prime divisible by 2 9 is not prime it is divisible by 3 10 is not prime divisible by 2 11 is prime okay 12 is not prime 13 is prime 14 is not prime 15 is not prime 16 is not prime 17 is prime 18 is not prime 19 is prime and 20 is not prime okay so the output for this particular program is all the prime numbers will be displayed so first of all 7 is displayed then 11 is displayed then 13 and then 17 and then 19 so this is the output okay so all the prime numbers between 7 and 20 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There are 5 prime numbers and they are 7, 11, 13, 17 and 19. Okay. So, this program was achieved only by writing the nested loop. Okay. So, what is outer loop is doing is outer loop here is taking care of all these numbers that is provided in a range. Okay. What is inner loop doing is inner loop will pick one number at a time at each iteration and then check whether that number is prime or not okay first it will check whether 7 is prime or not if it is prime it will display that 7 is prime next it will check 8 is prime or not inner loop is doing this it, inner loop will check if 8 is prime 8 is not a prime so 8 is not displayed next time it will check if it is 9 a prime 
okay so checking if each of this number is prime is done by the inner loop okay and the outer loop is taking care of you know running a loop on this entire list of numbers starting from 7 to 20 okay so this is how you can actually use nesting of loops to find out all the prime numbers between a given lower limit and the upper limit okay i hope you have understood this program we are not going to write a code for this but once you are clear on this you can yourself write a code and see if it really works okay let me repeat this one more time the code that you have written down here for finding a prime number is not an optimal code okay we can actually improvise this code okay we can write a better code to check if given number is prime or not okay but that is out of scope for this lecture right now okay we are not going to go into the optimization technique but you are always free to do a research on your own to see what is the optimal way to find whether a given number is prime or not okay so you can take this as an assignment so that's all in this lecture we are going to look at some interesting pattern based problems in our next lecture that is based on nested loops stay tuned